Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this pink halo eyeshadow look. We're going to be using the Wahala 2 palette by Juvia's Place. We're going to be starting off by using this very very dark shade you guys and we're going to be applying this only on our outer area. As you guys can see I'm applying this in padding motions just so I can get my concealer to set because I did not set it. Next, I'm going to be doing this exact same thing in my inner corner area. As you guys can see, it's like two big dots. And I'm going to be grabbing some of this pink shade just to blend that shade out at the top. These colors are extremely intense, you guys. So be careful because they are a little powdery. So you might want to do your eyeshadow before you do your base. This is why I have no base on right now. Clean face, just my eye. And also, meanwhile, I am blending that, you guys. I'm going to tell you about my crazy-ass experience. I just came out of surgery literally a week ago today. And, oh, you guys, I feel fatal. Like, it's horrible. But here I am editing for you guys because I cannot fall behind with my work. But yeah, you guys, it is a very, very hard recovery. I will make a video with more details on what happened here on my channel if you guys want to know what's going on with me. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I just got out of surgery and here I am editing videos. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be blending this out towards the outer corner, kind of dragging it out so we can do like a little tail at the end. And we're going back in with the dark shade just to make it darker and buff it out. Now I'm going to be taking this shade, you guys, and taking it towards the middle of my eye. Also, do not go above your crease. Please try to keep this on your crease or below. As you guys can see, I'm only staying in these areas because I do not want this eye look to be extremely dark. I want the pink to be peaking at the very, very top. So as you guys can see, it looks a little patchy and messy, but this is literally the definition of trust the process. You guys already know the deal in my tutorials if you guys are not new on here. And now I'm going back in with some pink just to blend that out and intensify it even more. Also, you guys, the brushes that I'm using, they're from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection. If you guys want to purchase them, I really, really love these brushes to blend. You guys, I've been using them for years in all of my videos and they are my favorite. So I recommend you guys get yourself some. Next, I'm going in with this light pink shade and I'm going to be using this to blend out the top of all this eyeshadow. Do not be afraid to touch your eyebrow, you guys, because this is a very light color. So it's not going to look messy or anything. Trust the process. Like I said, right now it looks crazy. <laughs> but once the colors come back on, it will all come together. Next, I'm applying some more of the dark eyeshadow just so that it starts to come back on because when we were blending this, obviously it comes off. It looks very patchy, but trust me, it will come together. Next, I'm going in with this makeup remover liquid by Neutrogena and these pointy Q-tips to remove some of that eyeshadow. You guys, these Q-tips, you can purchase them on my website. The link is down below in the description. They are very, very cheap. I believe they're $6 plus shipping and you get 200 of them. They're perfect to cut your crease. Trust me, you will not regret to buy these. We're going to be taking that pointy Q-tip with some of the liquid and applying it like I am doing right now. Do not go above your crease, only slightly a little bit so that the color that we're going to apply next peaks at the top. But as you guys can see, I'm not, I'm not removing all of that black color. I'm leaving a small strip of it. And we're only going to be doing this in the middle section strictly because this is a halo look. When you're doing this, you guys, try not to apply too much pressure to the Q-tip because it will squeeze out some of that liquid and you don't want it to get on the rest of your eyeshadow. You want to do this as gently as possible and then use the other side of the Q-tip that's clean and dry and then just dry out the areas where you have some of that oil left from the makeup remover liquid and we're just simply going to clean this out very smoothly. After this, we're going to be going in with the Beauty Creations Foundation, which I love to use as a concealer for a base because of the thick consistency that it has. This, And I'm going to be using this brush that I always use to cut my crease, you guys. It is from my website. As you guys can see, it says MEP Cosmetics on the brush. Right now, before I've lipped it. <laughs> 
but you guys this is my absolute favorite brush to do cut creases look at how smooth this comes on and it's so small it works so good make sure you guys check it out the link is down below like i said in the description if you guys want to purchase it it is part of a collection of brushes that i have it's the only one on there so you should be able to find it you guys i recommend it big time it helps me so much and it's like so flat that it, it gives you such a clean smooth canvas for your cut creases next i'm going to be applying this light shade and small tapping motions and small amounts you guys you do not want to just drag this brush across the base you want to do tapping motions so that it doesn't look patchy so we're going to be doing this little by little as you guys can see i'm building it up up to this point and it looks very smooth and nice also you guys try not to touch the dark shade on the sides please because it will like give it this weird matte look it just it gets weird <laughs> don't touch it next we're going in with the pink that we used the darker pink and we're gonna be blending this out on this edge and the same thing on the other edge and i'm so sorry if i got out of frame next we're going to be going back in with this dark shade and we're just going to be applying this on both of the outer areas just like we did with the pink but do not cover up all of the pink you guys we still want it to be peaking towards the inside so it has like this nice transition and also you guys repeat those steps until you get it to look nice and smooth i'm not gonna lie i actually regret not using this eyeshadow look for when i went to go watch the barbie movie because this is such a cute pink look for a night out like that <laughs> anyways next i'm going in with another q-tip and i'm just gonna be cleaning out that edge and i'm so sorry i'm not in the frame you guys i gotta work on this because i notice i'm not really on the frame most of the time you guys let me know in the comments should i go a little bit higher so that you guys can see better because i don't know <laughs> next i'm going in with my mascara this is from morphe and i'm only going to be applying a little bit and now I'm using my glue. This is from my website. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to purchase it. And I'm going to be applying my lashes. These are from Amazon, you guys. But I'm thinking of buying some of these with some vendors from China so that I can sell them on my website for you guys too. Now this is the finishing look, you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Comment the word Barbie if you watch this video all the way through. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any color suggestions, remember to comment them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!